It's the wave. All right, let's get it. What up, world? It's your boy Jeff, aka Cool Boy Jeff, right here. That's the only place you can find a wave. It's the wave 804 back again with another interview. And today I got none other than really Snooty. Snooty, what's good, man? How you feeling? What's up? I'm good. How are you? Hey man, I'm blessed. I can't complain. I'm sipping on a little wine. I'm uh trading the uh the hard liquor for the wine. I'm over here cooling, you know what I'm saying, feeling the vibe, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying something new, trying to age like wine. You hear me? <laughs> you know what kind of wine you drinking? Uh it's uh shit. It's some um ah damn. It's 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 some shit I gotta get up and get. I gotta run all the way into the uh to the damn yeah, kitchen. Yeah, man. <laughs> but it's some man, it's some it's some real, real nice shit. You know what I'm saying? Give got me in the groove, you know what I'm saying? Ready the for the interview. Right. Yeah, yeah, definitely gotta set the vibe, gotta set the tone. So if you can, you can go ahead and let people know who you are, what you do, and then we're gonna go ahead and get right into the interview. I, I'm really snooty. I make music, I'm a, I'm an artist. Mm -hmm. I, I call my I don't like saying rapper, I'm an artist. Mm-hmm. Same. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> and I guess that's it, man. She's an artist, a very talented artist. So y'all make sure y'all go ahead and check out her, her page and her channel. Really snooty, man. She got some really lit shit. So we're going to go ahead and get into it, Snooty. Uh, you can go ahead and just let everybody know what got you invested into music. What was the certain influences? And like, what were certain things that you had to really get yourself prepared for while you trying to become an artist? Um... I've always, in some way or form, have been into music. Mm -hmm. My my father was a DJ, so I think that's why. Like as as long as I can remember, like music has been a part of my life. You know what I'm saying? Like it's been a part of me and mm -hmm. things that I enjoy. Um, I've always like tried to write music. I remember when I was younger, like I would write music, but I wouldn't had no beat, so I just forget like the tempo. But right. I remember writing. <laughs> right, but, right. Um, I didn't. I didn't really start like really recorded until like, like. Like for real, recording in the studio until like nineteen for mm -hmm. real, um, because my friends was tired of me. Just I, every time we go to a party, we get drunk. Like I be, I really would. Yeah, <laughs> like, I really would. Do that. <laughs> and my friends, like I guess my friends was like they had they was cool with some people that did some work in the studio, and you know what I'm saying. They put me on. I didn't really start taking it serious until like uh, this past year for real. Mm -hmm. Um. I just figured, I guess you could say I take it serious. I just do it more often mm -hmm. and I'm willing to show more of my work now because I've always done it. I just never dropped nothing. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Throughout the years, I've just never dropped nothing, never really performed. And my dog is in here. That's him sound like that. But, uh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, I guess I just, I, I like, um, I don't know. A, a lot of people fuck with it. A lot of people fuck with what I do. A lot of people like what I what I what I do. And the main thing I had to to push myself to do was share my music because you know it really is me. Like it's 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 a very it's a very vulnerable side of me. Right. You know what I'm saying. So that's the biggest part for me was actually dropping things and stuff like that and, and consistency as well. That's something I'm still. That's my main thing now is consistency. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I got you. I got you. I mean. I seen the the video for fun, the F and F remix that you had did uh mm -hmm. like about a year ago. I was like, man, she was like she's really tough. And then seeing a the follow up of the work and stuff like that. What if you can explain what is something that's it may not harbor you from actually dropping music or dropping visuals and stuff like that? Or is this more so as like you got stuff that's going on in your personal life? That kind of like you know outweighs of what your music and stuff that you're trying to do. Um, I think for me, like I mean, at the end of the day, you know, you gotta take accountability for yourself. So for me, the for thing sure. is, I don't like when music starts feeling too serious. And at the end of the day, if you want to do something 100, percent it's gonna feel serious. You know what mm. I'm saying? Like, it, but the thing for me is like, once I start feeling like I, I guess I don't like being told what to do. Once I start feeling like something's telling me what to do, I'm like, eh, no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, like. And then on top of that, like, I feel like it takes away from the feeling that I'm putting into it. Like, mm -hmm. I don't like being forced to, like, do something. I like I like the freedom of it. You know what I'm saying? I like the freedom of freely saying what I want to say mm -hmm. and not, like, forcing myself to sit here and create some kind of content. I, I guess I like my things organically. And now it's just finding out, like, how to keep 
keep going without feeling like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. No, I feel rebe- rebellious in a sense because it's. Right. I guess I, I'm a little rebellious, you know. Right, right. Yeah. You like to do things on your own time. Yeah, so like once it starts feeling really serious, you know what I'm saying? Like once it starts feeling like, oh, you gotta do this. It's just like that's taken away from the fun, you know. It's, it, it's always been a hobby to me. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, like if you want to make bread off some hobbies, it's gonna get a little serious. So. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, especially like you know. Again, like very talented. So of course people are gonna be like, yo, when you gonna drop some more, you know, Thank gonna you. put out this and this and that. So people wanna see more of it. And then again, of course, like if people see that you're really good at it and uh I mean shit, you've been doing this joint for a little while now, that people wanna actually wanna see more out of it. So you don't really try to tend to worry about what people want. You just do it for out of your own benefit because you still wanna keep that funness going for yourself. Yeah, that's basically how I'm doing it now. Mm-hmm. I, I shouldn't though you know what I'm saying I be telling myself like nah I like do this but then I'm like nah <laughs> mm-hmm. and then like nah I don't really feel like doing that right now like, yeah. it's yeah. out come on That's- Sudi we need to get you to drop some more singles man I'm I'm definitely planning on it I'm mm-hmm. gonna I'm get something going I, I'm gonna get something going I'm gonna get something. No, that's all right. Take your time, man, because we need things that's like again, that's organic. We need that uh that grandma's cooking on Sundays. You know, she's well, right here. I've never dropped a project. You know what uh, I'm saying? I have been waiting years for a project. And so right now I'm actually working on that project. Okay. I am working on it. Okay. I'm working on something. Okay. You know okay. Saying? Things things are things are being worked on. Videos are being worked on. Things are mm-hmm. being created. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just completely being lazy and stuff. Like I'm I'm working too, but and then there is real life. You know what I'm saying? There mm-hmm. is real life. I am a very busy person, but I did. Yeah. I got you. I respect that. So, Snooty, now going more into it, where were some things that actually, like, again, you got life going on, you got things to take care of and stuff like that. But what's still keeping you like focused on still trying to get music out, still trying to do things? Because again, like stuff like this. In our position, as far as like what we're pursuing, you know, what we're doing, you know, what is something that still keeps you going on? Because things may take you away and stuff, but it still keeps bringing you back. Like, what is something that you want to be able to say on that? I just can't see myself not doing it. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't see myself doing. I'm not going to say I don't see myself doing anything else, but like, yeah, I don't see myself not doing it. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. I just want to keep doing. That's it. Like, I, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just want to keep doing. I got you. Just, I, I love the art of it. You know what I'm saying? I would love to expand more. Like, I just, I like, I like the creative process. I love all that. I got you. So what? So what more would it take to be able to get Snooty to come out, or at least like further, uh, like move you? Like what you got going on? This is like people come to the studio, you know, more like uh, content. People seeing what you got going on. Like, what more does it take? Because, like, again, like your music is tough. So, what more can be added to be able to see more of your uh, your creative side? You know what I'm saying? Well, once I drop this project, I hope to 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 be outside more with my music. You know what I'm saying? I, mm. I once I want to get this this project out so I can start doing more shows and more things involved with my music. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I feel like I have to do that first. Like, mm-hmm. I feel like that's the first step. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Cause it's funny. I only got like probably like two or three songs on iTunes. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. so it's just like, I want to have something already there you know like the resume got to be completed right and i feel like the project is what that is for me right so that's why i'm working on that so once i drop that i hope to be outside more you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. and and do it more and then after that once i drop that i'm trying to hit the ground running i got you it won't it, be- i got you oh my bad i mean cut you off go ahead no go ahead so is there anybody that you're looking forward to working with? You know what I'm saying? Anybody you're interested in working with around the area or maybe outside of the area of Virginia? You know, I've, I'm in a, I'm in a situation. Right now, I have, I'm not even thinking about, like, potential people to work with, for real. Mm-hmm. No, I, have, I would like to. 
expand though. I would like to work with people. It's just I don't have no particular people in mind. Mm-hmm. I think it's a lot of talented people in the area, in the DMV, mm-hmm. even further. I want to go far. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to go to different countries and stuff. Like I'm trying to. So maybe yeah. if I do something out of, you know what I'm saying? Like if I do something, because I'm Brazilian. So if I could do something with my with, with people in Brazil, like that would be dope. Like I think that's that's something I would like to do. I mean, of course it's possible, but you're going to have to get yourself there though. You know what I'm saying? See, this is where it comes from. I'm going to get like- myself there. That's nothing. That's what I'm telling you. I'm trying to tell you when I, hit the, when I get this project out, like I'm really trying to hit the ground running. Nah. You know what I'm saying? I got you. If if you can't disclose, can you be able to let us know or you have an idea when you want to make something come? We know it's going to be next year. It has to be next year. But you have a certain idea when this project is going to come out or something like that? Sooner than later. See, That's I tried. I, I tried, y'all. I really, <laughs> I really did That's try. Right. I tried, y'all. I tried to see. At least you know it's next year, so we ain't really got to worry about that. So that's the good Sooner part. Sooner than later. Yeah. Yeah, so that's really the good part. So now uh, I want to get into the music. Let me know how was it the process of making for fun the F and uh, F and F remix. You know what I'm saying? When you made that, like take me there, like how was the creative process of making that song? I just had an idea. So when the song came out, um, when the song came out, I used to work at the collective. Did you hear about the collective? Was that a call center? Nah, it was a uh, it was like a clothing store on Broad. Ah, uh, duh. We also worked with a, we also worked with a lot of artists and stuff too. We do a lot of events. So when that song came out, you know what I'm saying. Um, this was like around the time I guess I was somewhat taking a break from music. But like I said, I won't. I never really took a break. So I would always say like I'm about to make a remix of this. Like every time, <laughs> every time I hear it, I'll be like I'm about to remix this. This is so hard. I'm about to remix this. I'm about to remix this. And then um, and then I had an idea for it. And so I just did it. Like I did, I did like half the, I did half, I did the first verse mm-hmm. and I did it. You know what I'm saying? I showed my, I showed my, my folks and stuff. And they were like, that's your heart. Like my friends were like, that's your heart. That's your heart. They're like, you gotta go all the way with it. So I was like, all right. So I just went upstairs and finished the second verse. And then my home girl, um, my home girl, she, she already does music. My home girl, booty chain. I don't know if you heard her, but she, <laughs> she been in the game. Like, so she, and she told me she helped me shoot it. And that's like my first time <laughs> shooting a video in like two years. The uh, other video ain't even out no more. Like, well, I mean, so you took I, it down? Yeah. No, okay. Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay. So uh, for those who know, no, those who don't inside, it's okay. What was the name of the song that you took down? What is the name of it? I said, because we can't find it. So you took it down. I don't even remember the name of it. Oh, by any means. Is it a remix? No. Nah. Okay. No. Okay. No. Nah. Okay, yeah. got you. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Means. I see you took that down by any means. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But um that's another thing too. Don't be taking down your music. I took down a lot of music I shouldn't have, but it's all good. Mm-hmm. Why do you feel like that's important? Show your progress. That matters. And those fans that heard something that it dropped, don't matter if it was three years ago or not, mm-hmm. they're still your fans. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got people now who's like, yeah, I remember this song. I can't find it no more. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, they want to hear that. And now, but they want to hear that for sure because that's what they found. That's what they, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know when you got an artist, like, when you just, like, an artist you got put onto a while back and you still remember that song. Yeah. That got you onto them. Yeah. And you'd be like, nah, but this is the hardest one right here. You know what I'm saying? Like that they're, they're gonna feel that way. So even if you feel like like to me personally, I just feel like I've grown so much, you know what I'm saying? Like uh-huh. Like I've I've grown a lot since I first started recording and I, I felt like I wasn't connected with my music no more and there was things I was saying that I really wouldn't say today, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like the things, yeah. So it was just like I got rid of it, but at the same time, like people still was enjoying it. It was like I just took some away from somebody. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, Indian given. Like I just took it back. Right, yeah. right. So when, so do you call that maturity? As far as the stuff that you used to say, you don't say it no more because you're starting to talk about something else now. Like, is that is that maturity? Like, it's definitely maturity. I was also a, 
it's definitely maturity. Um, mm. Like I said, I, I, I was 19 when I started making music. I'm 27 now. Woo! Yeah, I am. I, I'm 27 now. I'm so 29. It's, like, it's all good. You feel me? And things change. Like, yeah. Things between 19 yeah. and now is completely yeah. different. Like, I was a very wild child. Like, I was a yeah. very, very wild, wild, wild. Wild child, child wanting, running wild. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and while then, you know what I'm saying? Emotions was crazy. So just imagine the shit I would say out of my mouth. Like, it's just. You know what? I'm just glad that you ain't come up in this generation at your age with the age back then. Because, whoo. Yeah, yeah. about the kids now. Yes. This is oh, yeah, they you shake it. And, you know, X, X, X is like, oh my God. Like, I mean. No, it's the- they, yeah, they, <laughs> they're explicit, explicit. Like, you damn nigga, I wear a condom. Just listen to some of the music today. I guess. You guess. Rap Pound Town. Like Pound Town. My I don't really pink, feel like. My booty hole brand. Like, come on. I don't all, shout, hear out, that. Sh- shout out Sexy Red. I'm sorry you don't want to hear that, but I, I, even at my big age, I do. I, I enjoy it. Sexy that. Red. Oh, I'm having God. fun with that. Wait. Oh, God. See, we were just talking about maturity, though. See, see, you going back on your word. But why is that? Why is that considered immaturity? Why is, is sex immature? Don't I thought every time people have sex, they say I'm grown. You know what? See, but see, it's depending on who you having a conversation with. See, now, see, now we ain't talking about you, though, but we talking about some out of time. We talking about other shit. Topic, if, topic, if we topic. Go yeah, because we because we're grown. Because we're grown, so we can talk about this topic. But so why we I, can't sing about it? Why we can't rap about it? Men can rap about it. You got a point there. Uh, I know. But I mean, I mean, but females sing the song "Area Codes." I got hoes. A man made that song. But some women sing it too. So why can't Sexy Red make a song about it? Ludacris ain't talk about nothing about his ding ding. This is video. You, you proving my that. point. You proving my point. He ain't, he ain't talking about none of that. He talking about Ludacris? seven seven no and four 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 eight zero oh, four seven five seven. Even we was in the song. We ain't talking about nothing. We, we ain't talking about nothing graphic. I don't think there's nothing wrong with being confident in your sexuality. I don't. I don't. I don't say that's a problem either. But that's why we have opinions. This thing called. I think opinions. men get so mad when a woman got something to say. I think that's what it is. Why should we? Y- y'all talk all the damn time. Why should we be mad? Why should why? we? Why? Why you don't like the song? I ain't never said I never liked the song. It's just like when I heard it, I was like, oh god. Like, oh, it's fun. It's too much. It's fun. It's too much. Oh, okay. Well, y'all know what she. Y'all know what she like. Pound town. Uh, it's. <laughs> I'm gonna let. I'm gonna let. I'm gonna let that go. I ain't. Gonna, I ain't gonna think too deep into that. <laughs> you know what I mean, honey? Like I'm, I don't I'm looking like I'm honey. No, I was playing. I was playing. I was playing. I was playing. Just cutting up. Nah, for real, Snooty. Look, let me know what you, what do you have planned in 2024? Now, you got this project that you're working on. You got some smooth mm-hmm. that's coming. What else do you have your hands on in 2024 that you have either an idea or you about to try to put in the works to work with somebody? Um, Like I said, once this project drop, I'm really trying to hit the ground running. I'm trying to perform more. I'm trying to expand more. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I also just started a clothing line this year that I'm hoping to also... What's it um, called? Heart Drop. Heart Drop. Gotcha. That's the joint you had in your bio. Mm-hmm. Okay. I thought that was a gang name. I'm like, oh shit. Heart Drop. Why? Wow, did you think that? <laughs> that you heart That's drop. crazy to me. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's The link is in the bio. The page is in the bio. Follow the page. Go to the link. I only got one t-shirt out right now, but it's all good. I hope to do more, you know what I'm saying? Hope to have more drops coming soon as well. And mm. it's just about balance though. Cause I'm definitely trying to prioritize the music above everything else. So that's facts. That's facts. Yeah. That's facts. You definitely gotta be able to do that. Gotta have some type of stability in your life and work balance too. Mm-hmm. Um talk more about like the YouTube channel now. Of course, you got the for fun joint, never stop. And really snooty, the NBA never broke alone joint. Out of those three, what was your, what can you say was like your favorite? NBA. NBA? Why is that? Mm-hmm. Um, the more I record, the more comfortable I am. Mm-hmm. Like the more I do videos, the more comfortable I am doing the video. And NBA was just so smooth. Like the entire process of it 
was so smooth. Like, Russ showed up. Like, it was no, it was no, like, planning. I'm sure that's, it was, you know, it was no, it was really no planning. Like, we just met up at the studio. It was my first time working with him. My homegirl, she just got in town. She didn't even hear the song yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, we just said, all right, we're going to do this. Mm-hmm. Boop, boop, boop. We did the scenes. We did this scene. Went outside. I said, let's use this wall. Boop, boop. Did that scene. The energy was great the whole time. Mm-hmm. And that was that. It was easy. One and done. I feel like yeah, it was organic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You was in the booth. It was organic. Yeah. yeah. You was in the booth. Yeah. It was like, you was like, never broke alone, but you really snooted. That's hard. That's hard. <laughs> Thank you. That's hard. That's hard, Marco. That's hard. <laughs> what is Marco? <laughs> hey, that's hard, Marco. Now, I was called, uh, you know, on TikTok, they got this sound, uh, Kevin Hart telling Marco, you got it, Marco. You got it, brother. Oh, I haven't seen that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that shit is hilarious as hell, though, Snooty. But, um, look, before you leave, let everybody know where they can be able to follow you at on all social media platforms and streaming platforms, too, because your music is on its way, so everybody should at least be up on it. So when it drops, they they ain't got to act like they ain't know what was up. Right. Um, I'm really Snooty. You can follow me at really Snooty. You can find me on YouTube iTunes, Spotify, everything under really snooty. Mm-hmm. Saying really S N O O T I E. That's me. Wipe your nose. Wipe your nose. Free Jeff. <laughs> free Jeff. Thug. I, I forgot what yeah, Thug stands for. Free Thug. For. Yeah, I forgot what Thug stands for. Uh, the some shit, but yeah, free yeah. Thug, man. But look, Snooty. <laughs> hey, I really appreciate you. This was a Fun ass interview. I'm not even gonna hold you. I wish nothing but the best for you. If you need anything, reach out to the Wave 804. And then once I get like set up, set up, and then shit is coming soon, man. We're gonna do a face to face interview, man. And shit is gonna be lit, man. Shit is gonna be crazy for real. But other than that, appreciate you. Uh, if you have any anything else to say, go ahead and get it out. I'm gonna go ahead and close this joint. Let them know, Snooty. All right. Well, I just want to say thank you for having me. You feel mm-hmm. me? I appreciate that. And yeah, if anybody listening, just do what you do. Stay committed. You know what I'm saying? Time management is everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You got to yeah. work for what you want, people. Remember yeah. that. Mm-hmm. got to work for what you want. Well, Snooty, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, man. Go do what you do. You look like you're in the booth right now. So go ahead and lay down some hot <laughs> fire. All right. <laughs> some super hot fire in the booth. Keep doing your shit, man. Appreciate you. Thank you, man. Have a good night. Yeah, you too. Y'all already know what it is, man. It's the Wave 804. More interviews coming soon, man. Until next time. Peace, man. Yes, sir. (laughs)